hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on the path selection tool so for that first we have to create some paths so paths can be created using pen tool so you have pay, uh, path and shape types so i'm using path right now so i'm just drawing a random shape here so it is one shape then i'm creating another shape here so you have two shapes and I'm going to create some primitives also. So I'm just dragging here a rectangle, a, a ellipse and a, a polygon. So you got a lot of things here going on. So the whole thing about the path selection tool is how can we able to transform this uh, paths. So we have move tool, but uh, we have to use the path selection tool to select the paths. Okay, so I can just select any path here just by clicking or just dragging over it. So you can select the path and if you want to select the additional path here, you can hold shift. Okay, so select the paths like that. So just by holding shift and then if you want to move them just click and drag it like that okay so you can also press ctrl t to get that free transform handle where you could able to rotate it you could able to scale it and move it anywhere you wanted and then you can hit enter to confirm when i'm hitting entering enter this is telling uh, this operation will turn a live shape into a regular path. Uh, I say yes. So we have this normal path which you can generally select and move. The next thing is I can hold uh, shift uh, while dragging. It will constrain to that particular axis. Not only that, if I'm moving in an angle and I'm start moving it and then hold uh, shift so it will move only in that particular angle there okay uh, the next thing is when you have selected multiple objects you can always use uh, uh, align tools and distribute tools so I'm selecting the align to canvas uh, feature and then I'm aligning it to the top edges so everything goes and aligns to the top and also I can use uh, the distribute tool so that I can evenly distribute them align edges and there are other features here which are basically are uh, locked and there's a reason for that and uh, how do you want to select this uh, paths uh, i mean you have the um, layers here you want to select uh, select the paths of the active layers then you can choose that and you want to select uh, paths from any layer of the canvas then you can go for all layers option I'm going to take the pen tool and then this time I'm going to choose the shape okay so when I choose the shape here okay like that so now if you select the path tool okay uh, we have uh, all these layers as you could see i can select i can change the color of these layers the way i wanted and uh, and also i can change the stroke of it i can increase the width of the stroke i can change the uh, type of the stroke i can increase the width and height of that so that's the options here so in uh, when I was drawing the pen tool while well, I was taking the path this was locked because these features only work for them so that's the reason these were locked earlier so and the other features what you see I've already explained in the path tool and then when you are drawing the next uh, shape here you need to choose this feature called combine shapes and then when you draw it okay when you draw this like that it will draw in the same layer and then when you start putting this i don't know if i change this color let me see it's changing the whole layer so it doesn't change the color 
even though I've selected one and I'm editing it's not giving me the different color here so <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do the subtraction here now if I generally move this uh, backward the way this uh, you know operation has happened will be different because the arrangement of layers is very important so this paths can be moved back or front and if you could uh, carefully see here uh, subtract front shape so if I move this it will not do that thing because this has no front layer so arrangement is uh, important in this uh, situations so that is uh, your uh, path selection tool